What's going on guys, Vic JC here back with another video. Welcome back to the channel. Um, for today's video, I have to install, well, I got a couple packages here, but we're not gonna install this yet. Um, I have a IAC, idle air control valve, um, that I have to throw on here just because, like I said before, when we addressed in the previous video, my idle's kind of been messed up. Sorry for all the noise. Um, but my idol's kind of been messed up, so we're gonna try to replace it. Um, let the car cool down a little bit. Little bit of progress yesterday um car's dirty as fuck don't look at the wheels but painted the calipers on the dsm so they match the rears looks nice more presentable um and we ended up putting what i got over here so we're not going to install all of them yet because i got to pull the rear differential where the hell did they go i don't know let me see if I can find them. Oh, they're in the back. There's so much junk in this car, I just have to go through it. Um, these bushings right here from Volk. Solid differential bushings for the rear end. I put one of them, well, me and Denny put one of them in for the bracket. And uh, when I pull the diff, uh, I gotta do a T-case and bullshit, so I'll try to do that all in one day, pull the diff, and I'll install those two bushings. Alright guys, so this is the IAC valve. Gonna put a new one in there. Comes with the O-ring and bolts. And there's just uh, two 8mm bolt bolts on here. It's located right under the throttle body. Which we're gonna try to get to. Keep cranking on this thing. You're getting wet too. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you. Alright guys, so after getting rained out, is the hood still popping this way? Woo! Sheesh. Let me plug this thing in. Fuck it. Alright, so after getting rained out, trying to work on this thing, the IEC, you can't see it back there. It's plugged in though. Start her up. And then I gotta adjust the idle later on. It's about time to be out. So all there is is two screws on it. Unplug it. It's under the throttle body. And that's it. Oh my god, you hear this? Tess is really going to be driving it, but... Yeah, 
You hear it? I know. There it goes. Alright guys. So I know that video was kind of all over the place. I was trying to install that thing. It just started downpouring. But it's a pretty, pretty easy install. Grab the part here. I mean, um, all it is is simply two eight millimeter screws. It's under the throttle body. And, hold it. and this is what the part looks like. So it kind of sits on, under the throttle body like that. And you just loosen those two screws, pop it out, pop it in. how bad this one was pretty shot so we replaced it and I just drove the car home even though after it rained um, it seems like the car is alright I think I just gotta adjust the idle some um, it back in the bag it's disgusting but yeah so it seems like it's alright um, I'm just gonna keep adjusting the idle a little bit more these things were pretty cheap. I don't even know how much I paid for it. Let me see. It was only... How much I paid for this thing? I don't know. I want to say it was no more than 30 bucks, though. I thought the receipt was in there. But yeah. It was no more than 30 bucks. Uh, next on the list, I just got... I'll show you guys my pedal stop. I'm going to adjust that. So, if you can see that right there, that screw, all you do is loosen that bottom nut and adjust it. Goes to the floor, kind of stops it. Um, so that's what the pedal stop looks like for the twin disc. And uh, I'm going to adjust that. But the IC seems to be in better working condition, better working order. Um, I'm just going to adjust this pedal stop and uh, take it for a ride and I'll continue to uh, adjust the throttle body and the idle until we get it right. But uh, if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys are new here, uh, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, please, please like the video. Don't mind me, I still got that Invisalign in. But uh, please subscribe to the channel, turn the notification bu a bell on, like the video, um, you know, all of the above. Definitely want to keep making as much content as possible for this car. So all your guys' input, comments, um, you know, likes, dislikes, whatever, I'll take it, you know, with a grain of salt. But um, it definitely helps the channel grow. And, um, you know, there's not many channels out there that are able to make content on vehicles like these. So uh, it's definitely useful. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.